as we count down to Monday's special broadcast from the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture, four days and counting now, we'll bring you the stories behind the exhibitions. A gallery on the third floor called Power of Place will explore areas in the U.S. with a distinct African American identity. One of those places is a small New England town on the island of Martha's Vineyard. Margaret Brennan shows us how Oak Bluffs became a popular retreat visited by President Obama and many others. The charming New England cottages of Martha's Vineyard have been a summer getaway for the African-American elite for more than 100 years. Drawn to the harbors of Oak Bluffs in the late 1800s, freed slaves and laborers began settling there. Charles Scherer, the son of a slave and her white owner, turned this cottage into the first inn for black vacationers. Scherer's great-granddaughter, Lee Van Allen. African-Americans came to visit and they were not able to stay at the uh, homes. They were not welcome there because of segregation. So he was our business opportunity, and he opened the inn, Sherrill Cottage. The cottage soon attracted the African-American elite, including actor Paul Robeson, singer Ethel Waters, and composer Harry T. Burley. So it really was the beginning of the expansion of the African-American community on Martha's Vineyard. Adam Clayton Powell Jr., one of the first African-American congressmen, writer Dorothy West, and Ralph Meshack Coleman, considered the dean of Boston's black theater, purchased homes nearby. Today, they're featured along the island's African-American Heritage Trail. Historians Elaine Weintraub and Carrie Tankard founded it. Why is the Shearer House the first stop on this tour? We felt that the contribution it had made to the island's history should be celebrated first. We had an ambitious plan, Carrie and I, that we'd have four sites. Now we have 26. <laughs> 26. 26. Mm -hmm. And the Smithsonian took notice. The community and the work of Charles Scherer will be featured at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. It's dated 1878-79. Author Jessica Harris donated artifacts from her family's historic home. Why did you think it was important to make a donation to the exhibit? Things are changing. This is not the Oak Bluffs I grew up in. But as it changes through things, through artifacts, one can maintain a connection with the past. These days, the African-American community here on Martha's Vineyard has expanded beyond Oak Bluffs. The bottom line is, whatever anybody says one way or the other, the nucleus, the bedrock, the beating heart and soul of the African-American community on this island is and will always be Oak Bluffs. For CBS This Morning, Margaret Brennan, Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts. <laughs> People who live in Edgartown and Vineyard Haven, other places might disagree, but Oak Bluffs is a very special place. Yeah. I love all Why things about this vineyard. Because they say, you know, we've got soul, we've got a beating heart. Oh, well, That's what that I part. mean. Oh, That's I what I mean. Yeah. They say, yeah, we have something to offer, too. It's just a great, great place, yeah. the whole vineyard. I love it.